Hey, here is Josh from Redrex and I want to show you some additional information how to use the orange for lower tension, so up to 2 to 3 kN. So first thing, getting the orange out of the bag, then uh, attaching it to a shackle. So in the best case, you have a span set girthage around the tree and you have like some distance between this shackle and the tree. So half meter is quite useful. In this case I have like way more, which is not really necessary. Uh, yeah. The next step is, if you want to load the orange, you get the outside pin out, store it somewhere where you remember where it is and you don't lose it. And then you roll up the orange in this direction till this main pin is on the top or like this nub, this nub is pointing backwards, this one here. And then I take a webbing bite and I can simply get the pin out, twisting and pulling it out and press it in again and lock it. So it's uh, press in, rotate and it's coming out and it's locked. And then getting this cord above hooking it into this bolt so the orange is like not roiling out anymore and is acting now like a normal weblock where you can easily pre-tension. So you can see that the orange is in the right position if this nub here with the hole for the outside pin is pointing to the front. That's, you know, that is like in pre-tensioning position. Now we are building a Buckingham system, so having a line grip, having in the best case a rolling carabiner, attaching it, and getting the webbing tail in, and I like this, I can continue tensioning. Okay, I just finished tensioning the line to one and a half kilonewton. And now, next step is getting line grip off and bringing the orange to the anti-slip mode. So to open, to bring the orange to anti-slip mode, I need to pull back on the tail that this cord is getting loose and I can unhook it here. But don't pull too much. As soon as this nub is pointing backwards, you would start to release. So just, just enough that it's like a bit loose here, unhook it, bring it over and then carefully let it feed in. Okay, so now we are in the anti-slip mode and you can see this, that this hole is pointing backwards. With thick webbing it would be a bit higher up, with thinner webbing it's pointing a bit further down. And then to avoid that you accidentally release anything or make the orange rotate, you take the cord through the bite of the webbing tail, you hook it in here, and now, even if you pull on the tail, there's nothing moving. And then just to store the pin, the outside pin, I can just hook it in. And like this, there's no slippage anymore. And I can do with the webbing tail a normal backup to the tree. That in case anything is failing, the orange is still backed up. So to release, I clip in a rolling carabiner as a redirection. Get the tail in here and now I can start pulling and you see the orange is rotating if I'm pulling here. And first step is like rotating that far that this hole is below the main line. So I'm coming from this position to here. Then I get this outside pin in and close it off. Now you can just relax a moment again. This pin is um, avoiding any back rotation. I can get a better grip and I can start pulling further. So now you will feel as soon as this pin here is at the lowest point, so at 90 degrees from, from this line here, it's getting harder. And as soon as I'm going over this point, it will start releasing. So I'm pulling now and now you see this pin is touching the tail, which is coming in. And if I'm now carefully 
release, slowly release, you see um, the webbing is coming out here. If I'm going too fast, it will just lock again. So that's the way how you lock it. You just let it go fast. The orange rotates backwards and there's not releasing anymore. Okay, so when we reached now relatively low tension, where it wouldn't release anymore, or it's like really hard to get find this sweet spot here, then you can just either use your hand to keep the orange open, or alternatively getting this in this cord and pulling this back, and now I can release to very low tensions. Good, so in case you have problems releasing the orange, there are three main reasons which could be the, um, uh, the cause for this problem. First is, you might just not rotate the orange further, for, um, far enough. So this pin is not touching at this backside webbing, so it's like pointing straight down. In this case, you just need to pull harder on the tail, so like here in the redirect, pulling harder on the tail, to get all the way that this pin is touching the webbing. In case you have problems, you just can get like a second person helping you, pulling harder. If this is also not possible, I mean, uh, then we show you another video for like high tension use of oranges, how to create more force on the tail to make the orange fully rotate open. Then another problem can be, if you get it all the way till this pin is touching this webbing tail, it's still not releasing because as soon as you and start feeding in the webbing, it rotates directly open again. So it's not it's not staying in this position. And this can be, especially if you have like wet webbing, that can happen because the friction with web, wet webbing is way higher. So this is, so it's not releasing. Or if you have like a really new orange, um, in the, for the first twice, the friction inside the orange is also a bit higher. Over time, it's getting then a little bit smoothed off and uh, working smoother. Um, uh, yeah, in this case, you simply need to hold open the orange. So first you pull on the tail till this outside pin is touching the webbing and then you can pull on this cord of the outside pin getting this out of the way, back and like this you can release. The easy thing is to just use a carabiner, clipping in the carabiner and then pulling back. Always make sure to first pull only on the tail to make the orange fully rotate and then use this carabiner to release it. Okay, the last method, um, last reason which why it might not work out is if you're pulling at an angle. So if you're pulling now here at an angle, you can just not make the orange rotate far enough to uh, um, release. So in this case, make always sure to pull the tail parallel to this sling here and you can simply use the carabiner as redirection that you make sure that this is always parallel. Hey, thanks for watching and in case you have any problems or any further questions feel free to contact us directly and check out our other videos.